Hello YouTube. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to hack a Pokemon ROM. This is for Game Boy Advance only. Now, there are some things you may need, well, you will need for this. You will need a Visual Boy Advance. You will need, um, you'll need three things. Visual Boy Advance, a program called Advanced Map, and you will need a Pokemon Fire Red ROM. Now, first, what you're going to want to do is open up your advanced map program. It should look like this. Now, going, and then once you have your Fire Red ROM, go to File and then Load ROM. And now, the name of it is. Pokemon, and now select that GBA right here. We'll do All right, so turn it to is the second file. Anyways, now you open it. No, do that. Alright, so I open it, and these three should pop up, like that. Now you're going to hover over from header, and hit enter, and bring up all these numbers, go to the third one. Gives you every town, every route, everything, almost there, almost everything. It does leave out a few things. So you're going to go to, start Pallet Town. Now it just gives a basic look over of Pallet Town. And over here, on the right, it gives you... Look, it gives you like every different, every sprite that can be related for this tent. Now, if if you say you wanted to edit inside one of the houses, you have to close this, go to four, you see Pallet Town and different numbers, and same for every other town. Everything. So in this case, we're going to be editing Pallet Town. 4.1. That's your room. Now on the side, see how they change? These are all indoor stuff now. No idea what that is, but it's all indoor stuff now. So let's change. What? Let's do Pout Town. 4.2 is that. Let's change his office. Now what we'll do is we can do this. Now see when you click on it, it hovers over a certain area. And once you've clicked on it, click the spot you want to place, and it places it. So you do that for everywhere, like so. I'm probably just going to change the floor with it as well. Oops. Like that. And the top one is that. Now you can change the floor by selecting a floor panel. Obviously this is one of them. And just draw over the whole floor. It's quite easy to do this actually. Oops. Make a mistake. Just so you have pixels. If you're going like this over everything, it's not really a mistake because they have different sprites for these, just with different floor panel paneling anyway, so just do this, everything, oops, if you messed up, just look through the list so you find the thing you accidentally messed up on, in this case it was this, just reselect it, bring it back up, just like that. Quite easy. So paneling. Just finish coloring in the whole floor. And for shadows, you can do this. Like a darker panel. Place it there like that. Like a shadow there. Shadow effect. And once you've had as much as you can filled in, you can do this. The bookcase just slips the new the 
the bookcase for this room and, just, and for this floor panel I just do that and then it's quite easy actually doing this is quite easy and once you've had that place put this one on bang and you might not be able to have the same color effect, but you're still going to have the same type thing. It might look a little weird. It's got kind of used to the look of it. Certain things in here you can't really change. Like that. There should be a single bookcase in here somewhere. Which is not, it's not to deal with it if you want to leave. Choose a drawer or something. Oops. Deal with it. Like that. Hey, okay, that actually looks pretty decent. Okay, so now that you've had that, your room is changed. We're going to just completely edit Palette Town. But bring that up, say yes, if you want to keep what the room looks like. Now, you have this. What you're going to do is, well, you see how this is border block? And see how all these are around it? And see, it shows the tree. So what you'll do is you can actually change the border. That's what I was doing. I used it using grass. Pull it all in, and then the border will be all grass. I'll show you when I open it up. Excuse my voice, my voice cracked. Anyways, so, I'm going to, <laughs> what should I do? Shall I show you? If you change the doors to where it will open like normal, it just look actually look pretty cool. What this thing can do for you, but anyway, so you can do stuff like this. You can change, oops, change the look of Professor's how or Professor's lab like this. I mean, it's really amazing what this thing can do. I mean, really. This thing is just insane. See, so it looks much different, and you can add windows like that. And then other half like, like that. Now there is a window on there. It looks kind of weird, but. So that's the first look at, and I will be making a ROM hack. I will, it will not be available for download, but I will be making one. This is just an example video. So then you go to this one, which is save. You can just go here. So you click save. And now, without exiting out, you, just in case that like, you want to change something real quick, open up a visual, your Visual Boy Advanced. Now file, open. And then type in the file, copy, mom, firered.gba. By the way, my hack will be called Pokemon Blank. Because I, when I was changing the, the new sprite, speed that up, it changed, when I was changing the sprite, accidentally, like, see how it, see how the Charizard on here? Let's speed this again. See how there's a Charizard on here? Well, I messed up and there was nothing there. So, I screwed up there. There. So that's why it's going to be called Pokemon Blank, because there's no Pokemon on the title screen. I know. Stupid name. I might come up with something better, but... Alright, so anyway, you start your ROM like a new one. Blah, blah, blah. Get through all this cheese. any Pokemon game these days. I used to just name myself like Antoine or something, something retarded. Now I used to name myself Ash. I think I'm going to name Gary. Something else retarded. Now you're in your room, it's normal because you didn't edit it. Downstairs, it's still normal because you didn't edit it either. Look what I'm going to upset. Look, see all the grass out there is edited. See, look at it. The house looks different. See, the doors are different, but they open like normal. Watch. And go in. And 
see how the rooms edited. The floor. Rooms edited. Really decently awesome. So, yeah. And now if you don't save, yet you change up this a little more, it will still be normal, but just make sure you don't, well, you can save in there and then change the ROM a little, but it might glitch out your game. I'm not sure. It might, but just be careful, please. So, you go to different cities. I will give you a preview of my newest, my first ever ROM. It is, I save it under my Pokemon hacks file called Pokemon Blank. Okay. So I will open. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna open it under this. The name. I will go to a file and do this. Open. Oh, I wonder what happens if you open up any other one. I wonder if it allows you to change it. Which it would. So I go to three. So I, I renamed it. It's new name. What two chamber? That's what it looks like. And then I have to do this. I'm not sure if I change much. Put in there. Change this out a little bit. Put in there. Change this a little bit, look a little retarded, but brighten than nothing. Just go back to Viridian. We messed that up. So here's Viridian. Decent. Computer. Still working on it. Looks pretty cool so far. I haven't edited Carillion yet. It looks, still looks normal. So there's a preview. Now I'm going to try something. I, I just noticed. Open up Pokemon Cast Black in here. Fail. Okay. Oh, still this one. I'm going to load Cycle. Oh my god, it worked! Oh, it worked! Oh my gosh, it worked! Oh my god, that's awesome. So cool. Let's see, let's try it. Oh my god. I figured out how to edit other hacks. That is pure awesomeness. Sweet. That is awesome. Crazy city. That is pure awesomeness. Sporo, Foot Tree. I they didn't have this one though. Whatever. Moss Thieves. These really don't look too hot. Hmm. That That's pretty good. I don't think we have this one at all though. I have to say, it doesn't look any hack, does it? Still loving it. Yeah. yeah. Alright. So, that's really it. I mean, you'll need the Google Advanced Emulator. You will need advancedmap.exe. And you will need a Pokemon Fire Red Realm. It's not that hard. It's pretty cool what this thing can do, though. And I have to admit. So that's really it, guys. See you later. Adios.